Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Siegel, and I'm delighted to be helping to direct this Harvard Medical School course on psychedelic assisted psychotherapy. Psychedelic assisted psychotherapy has the potential to revolutionize psychiatry. Up until now, the vast majority of our psychopharmacological agents and even many of our psychosocial treatments have been designed to calm or dampen the nervous system, to reduce activity so as to reduce the intensity of painful symptoms. What we're doing with psychedelic assisted psychotherapy is stimulating the nervous system, making more connections in the nervous system, and in so doing, allowing patients to have access to thoughts, feelings, and memories that previously have been pushed out of awareness. This gives the potential of actually resolving trauma, which has been refractory to other treatments, depression, which hasn't responded to medication, and even to help people deal with the kinds of pain that drives them to addictive behaviors and the difficulties that arise when we're facing death. The use of psychedelic assisted psychotherapy to help with anxiety and depression in end of life situations. Now the research is still at the beginning. We don't have definitive answers, but so far the preliminary results are extremely promising. This particular course is designed by clinicians for clinicians. We understand that many of you won't be rushing out to do psychedelic assisted psychotherapy or even to get training in it right away. But the insights that come from these practices can inform all sorts of other clinical work because psychedelic assisted psychotherapy is also revealing some of the mechanisms behind psychotherapeutic change, behind the resolution of these disorders. The particular course is going to feature presenters from a wide variety of backgrounds and is going to cover areas such as the science behind psychedelic assisted psychotherapy, how to use it for race-based trauma, how it might integrate with psychodynamic or psychological or psychoanalytic uh, treatment, as well as how this might be used in future research and how it might be integrated with mindfulness and compassion practices. I hope you'll get to sign up and enjoy the course.